We will discharge each simulator at 2 kV and 1 second intervals, reflecting level 1 contact mode per most ESD standards. We are going to let you make your own observations and determinations regarding waveform characteristics. Every ESD simulator generates a waveform that meets the standard, and test labs and engineers have varying opinions from simulator to simulator. I'm going to try to keep my opinions out of it and let you draw your own conclusions. In my hand is the EMC Partner ESD 3000s. We just increased the speed to 10 hertz. Uh, these higher speeds are used to identify susceptible points in a device. A minor inconvenience of the Keytech Mini Zap is the manual switch of the polarity plug. Holding the normal button and adjusting the voltage knob on the left will set our configuration to 2 kV and one second interval is set by the right knob. The only other option is a 20 hertz. The Mini Zap and the ESD3000 are the only two units that come with the capability to run through the supplied AC adapter. Whereas all the other units you can do this, but you would have to buy an add-on accessory to run it through AC, otherwise they run on battery. Pull out the most popular unit to man. We'll start at 2 kV and 1 hertz. You'll notice the Rocky Mountain range after the peak. As we see it, this is a harsher ESD strike. If you design and pass your product with the 435, you should pass when going to a test lab that has this gun or generally any other. We'll program the unit for 20 hertz. And keep in mind, we're going to circle around and do the same thing at 8 kV the highest level for contact discharge immunity in the IEC standard. The EM test ditto is a unit we did not address in the first comparison video, but is growing rapidly in popularity, so here we go. Not sure about the recoil on this bad boy, so we'll use two hands, which leads us to today's trivia question as I figure out how to adjust discharge frequency. How often does ESD guns get requests for firearms? I wish it was never as we are obviously not a firearms dealer. But if you're dying to know, give us a call. Still with me? Okay. Here's 2 kV 20 hertz discharge of the ditto. Moving into the Hayfleet Onyx, I'll begin splicing and dicing the film to make these segments more tolerable for you, because you'll probably go to sleep. The 3C test EDS-20 is the newest unit to the market and it bears physical similarities to the Hayfleet Onyx, but the waveform and output is comparable to an EM test unit, containing a much more defined secondary peak, but still its own unique waveform. Feel free to jump around the video to do comparisons. The 3C test unit is also unique in that it is the only one that will go up to 18 kV in both air and contact mode. Back to the Hayfleet Onyx, uh, with the second highest output capability in contact mode, which is 16,000 volts. The ESD 3000 and uh, the remainder of the units that we've covered uh, have either a 9 or 10 kV output capability in contact mode. And we'll finish the day off strong with the most popular unit to man. The NSG 435 from now Tessec, even though it says Schaffner on this model. Thank you for paying attention, and we'd appreciate your feedback now that we got rid of the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man voice. Visit the all new video data sheet series presented by ESD Guns. Click on a thumbnail now to learn more about a particular ESD gun.